Let's play Top and Bottom Corners, game S11 in the Math Card Game Book. This game is just like regular corners except for two small differences. The players take three cards instead of four, and the scoring is as follows. Only the vertical numbers, green and black, are added to the score. The horizontal numbers, red and blue, are subtracted. Just watch as we play. Okay, each student has been given three cards, and we put the green on top to make it nice and clear which numbers we're working from. All right, and the person with the lowest number on top gets to play first. So who is that? That would be me. All right, good job, Jasmine. And when you play a card, you always replace it from the stockpile. All right, then it's my turn because we go clockwise. Okay, I'm going to look at my cards, and I see I don't have, I don't want to go with the negative number. I want to go with a positive number. So even though it's a low number, I'm going to put my 4 with the 1 that's green to get a positive 5. And I'm going to write my score on the card. And replace my card from the stockpile, and it's your turn. I get 15. No, oh, wait, that's minus. Hmm. I think we can do this one. Oh, good thinking there. Even though 15 is a big number, you don't want a big negative number, do you? Mm -mm. All right, so what is your score now? 10. 10 points. And replace your card from the stockpile, and it's Jasmine's turn. Hmm. I don't have anything positive, but I still need to get a solid positive negative 10. Ah, <gasps> wow. And is that your first score? Mm -hmm. Can she start with a negative 10? Yes. She sure can. She's got to work to get out of the hole, but it works. All right. I see I have an 8 plus 7 of black, which gives me a positive 15. I already had 5, so I write down the score of 20. Mm -hmm. And replace my card, and it's your turn. Hmm. Well, there's nothing I can do. So what, what do you have now? I have five. Is that a positive or a negative five? Negative. So you're subtracting five, and you already had ten, so you wrote down just the total score, which is five. Good job. You must have played this game before. <laughs> All right, Jasmine's turn. Hmm. Um, ten. Ten. Oh, so if you had negative 15 and you have negative 10, what's your score? Well, I had negative 10, so I have negative 10. All right, very good. Okay, you can see from the game that there's a lot of addition and subtraction that goes on in this game. The game could continue until the stockpile is gone and runs out completely, or you arrive at a predetermined time limit that you set. For a little variety, you can agree that the winner is the person who has the lowest score and see how it adds to the fun and learning.